I'm a Bali. I wish this video was clickbait. This video is not clickbait and I tried to think a thousand times of a way to make this video and not be emotional and the more I thought about it, the more emotional I got. But I realized being emotional is a good thing. I'll do my best. Being emotional is a good thing. It means that you cared so much about something that you, that it meant something to you, which most people protect themselves from feeling so they don't get hurt. We're leaving Bali. Um, to give you context, I've been in Bali since February 2020. And I've stuck through Bali before everything happened in the world, during it, after, after airports shut down, and I've been here since. And since then, I've grown myself, I've grown my business, I've grown um, as a human, and I've always been giving back and been able to give back and give back. And I'm recording this video on July 9th, 2021 and I made a video before but things really changed and you know I can't help but notice the people that are suffering and I've spoke to so many different people I spoke to so many different people here and you know it's this feels so different as I've talked to people I've, I made a video already but I want to record the second one and let people know it's not easy for me to leave here you know we we decided we, I think it's important in life that you, you understand when you're happy and when you're not. And understand when you can be happy. And when you understand being happy makes you a, a better person all around. When you understand all these at once, this is, there's magic to this. And like I love Bali. Bali is home. I have my place here, a dog. I just dropped my dog off. That's why I'm super like down. But I think it's in these moments that you need to share the most. And that's when you're saying and you're speaking from your heart. You know, the people are really suffering here and they, they're so nice and so have so much gratitude and are so happy. And they're really suffering. I, I made a video the other day, 80,000, 80,000 people lost their jobs on the beach. You guys know with me and my channel, we've been giving back to so many people. And, you know, when they start, I think when anyone's forced to do things that they don't want to do, whether that's by a person, a group, organization, I think that's where the lines almost of humanity are crossed. And from what I've witnessed here and talking with people, and I love Bali. Bali's home and I'll be back here as soon as I can. But at this present time, a lot of the values that I have Everything we do in life is for our values because our value system. And with the values that I have, it's tough to watch around while my movement's restricted and going out and trying to help people is a lot harder and seeing them suffering. And at first I thought leaving Bali was because I couldn't leave there because I would feel guilty. I talked with my really good friend and he really pointed that out to me because I really started to feel guilty that I'm leaving them in time of need, time when I can be giving back and helping which is what we've been doing for the last year and a half. Anyone who's ever supported or given to my channel, we have given. Portions of that have been given to the people here. And I was guilty that I was leaving at a time when it mattered the most. And this one feels different. And my friend pointed out that I could do more away than I could here. And I still do calls. I do travel consulting calls before I started as Bali consulting calls. And I had one today, the first one since all this stuff has happened from roadblocks to asking for cards for um, so many different things that I've heard about. The way, the things that are required for you to fly. And I looked at a lot of places in the world. And a lot of places in the world are open and people are moving around and doing their thing. And, you know, Bali's like a piece of me. I wouldn't make this video if a video like this really raw and uncut if I didn't feel this way. But I realize sometimes when you help people, you got to help yourself first. It's one of my friends reminded me of. And so many times in life we're hindered by the things that we're unwilling to sacrifice. The things that we're unwilling to give up for what we truly desire. 
And my goal is to empower you, and no one's forcing me to say this. No one's forcing me to leave. I really don't care about the negative comments in this video. Saying, I can already guess. You don't have to leave. Why are you leaving? Blah, blah, blah. Help out. All this I read all the time. But more importantly, I think at the all times, you must follow your heart. All times, you must listen to what, what, listen to what's being said, but hear what's not being said. And I want to help out. I want to give back and regroup to help the people here, whether that's creating a virtual platform, which I'm doing. But I feel like I should make this video as maybe my last video here in Bali, the very last one I film. I was like, what do I say? How do I not get emotional? But I think, like, isn't that, that it is the emotions that we have that makes us human. And it's the parts, the pain that we have that makes us human that connects us. And notice that lately, as I've gone around and I've talked to people, and I'm, I'm, I talk to so many people every day, and I, I see that there's a lostness in people's eyes of what to do. And I was in that situation too, like, let's stay here and let's figure this out. And I realized that I have created myself. I encourage you all, and this is what I help people do, and this is what I love to do, is to help you to, to rise up above whatever circumstance you're in and figure a way, become the way. Set your life up so you can do what you want, when you want, how you want, when you want, where you want. And one thing to understand about Mama Bali, Mama Bali's really special. And at the moment, I feel like Mama Bali, she's, her veins are drying up. I always tell you Bali's like a mirror, but even more so than a mirror, Bali is fueled by all this new energy that people have coming in here, mixing with the energy that's already here, and mixing with that with, the, with, with how enhanced everyone becomes when everyone's together. It's enhanced by the gratitude that the Balinese show, that show as an example for us that it doesn't matter where you are, what situation you're in, you can thrive. You know, Bali's fueled by this. Not only is it fueled 80% by tourism, but it's fueled by all this stuff that's, that, that happens inside once you're here. The really trying to figure yourself out, really trying to build your business, all that effort and perseverance is what builds, I believe, builds Bali. And the people just amplify everything that's brought to it. And that's another subject, but I can say it's almost like Bali is like a woman. She amplifies anything. Whatever you give her, she amplifies. Whatever. A house into a home. And now it feels, for me, if you've ever saw National Geographic and you have those waters, the, the water everyone drinks from, and it kind of starts a little bit dry up a little bit. Bali's needing that refueling. And it's a refueling that I know we're in a pandemic and you know everything can be crazy, but it's a refueling that, that comes from the people. And when you kind of limit people, if people are ever forced to do things, I hope you hear what I'm saying, that changes the dynamic of it. You know, as I sit here and I'm just watching this rice farmer over here, they keep going, Bali keeps going. Just like people, we keep going. We keep moving, we keep evolving. Really scary for me in the moment of deciding, of course, and leaving our dog, Luna, here. I mean, of course, we're coming back, but just leaving her for at least, at least a few weeks. It's tough to do. And I always think in my mind when I have to make tough decisions that God saves his his toughest missions for his strongest warriors. <laughs> Something that really keeps me going. But Bali and many places in Indonesia, they need help. They do, the people need the help. I hope that this video inspires you to do something. If you're someone who's making money online, even more so than giving your money, show people how to do it. I feel like there's never been a better time and this is what I plan on working on. I've already started to find a way to share skills and do things like this. But Bali is magical, it still is. And the glistening in people's eyes, even though it's going down, 
the magic is always there. And I'm sad to leave Bali. And I know it's my choice to leave. But I realize life, the direction of life only comes down to a few choices. At the end of the day, your life is shaped by just a few choices you made. But they were made at very important moments in your life. So everyone who's been part of this Bali experience and journey, and I have so many cool videos to share from here and in the future, possibly once I'm settled down. But I wanted to share this with you to thank you all for being with me. To the Balinese people, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you for showing me that money isn't required to have a good life. Thank you for showing me that gratitude amplifies and eliminates anything negative and amplifies everything that's beautiful in life. Thank you, Bali, for just always giving me those random smiles. People always coming up to me. All of you who watch me on TikTok <laughs> and just come up and randomly and say things to me. Thank you for the beautiful weather, teaching me what Poland taught me about the rain. It's about learning how to dance in it. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. And I felt like I say this as like a thank you. And at the same time, I say it as like a way for me to say what's going on in my mind. What I'm thinking of as I just dropped my dog off, Luna, like five minutes ago. So I'm super like in a jelly standpoint. But I love you, Bali. Love everything about here, as far as the people and the land is concerned. The way it's run, that's another conversation. And I respect all the rules that you all have put in place and have done my best to make sure that I've stuck to them the best I could while I was here. And at the same time, I've shared with you all so that when you come here, you can help out and find other ways to help. So until then, Bali, Mama Bali, all you beautiful cuties, I like to say, who are watching this video from here. Thank you. I love you. Suksama. I know you're thinking Mwali. <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys, see you guys all, um, hopefully soon. But I thought I'd say my thoughts on a farewell to Bali. Hopefully only a few weeks, but we'll see. Love you guys. Take care. And remember to work hard, to be brave, and don't forget to smile. Suksema. Oh, Ali. Dada. <laughs>